today i'm proudly flaunting my face with absolutely no makeup on it now think about it in the madness of the morning how many of us have time to actually do our makeup between figuring out ki aaj kya kya karna hai to gulping that last cup of coffee most of us don't even have half an hour to spend on our face so today i'm going to show you my 10 minute makeup routine to take over any kind of day Now I've already primed my face with Clinique's Pep Start. It's extremely hydrating and it does act as a pretty good primer as well. Now I don't like using foundation every day. This cream however, it's called Bigger Than BB Easy Cream. Okay, I use the shade 05 in beige. It has a matte finish and looks just like your skin without worrying about the base looking too cakey. So I'm going to dab that just a little bit at a time on my face. I then use a damp beauty blender and blend it all away. Now because this is not a thick product the blending is really easy. I put it all over even on my eyelids and neck. Now that's done. Next we go to filling the eyebrows. You know just a little bit of filling your eyebrows frames your face so well and somehow it just pops. I use the Gimme Brow Wand number no. 3 from Benefit and with light strokes fill the brows in. It might not give you exact lines and those really severe arches, but uh, to get ready in ten minutes, this is superb. Oh, and can you see how just one layer of the Big Easy Cream already evens out my skin and gives it a glow? Next, I take my Crease Shadow Brush from Sephora. By the way, Sephora brushes are much cheaper. And use any sort of light brown color from any eyeshadow palette that you might have. Okay, I'm using the Zoeva Cacao Blend palette, and I'm using the color Substitute for Love. blow off excess shadow from the brush and then in a windshield motion just apply it on the lid this is actually a really simple way to give um my eyes a little more depth and color let's say like a bit of contouring for the eyes next we skip the eyeliner because let's be honest that takes the most time to get right so instead i'm using just my mascara the one i'm using is called better than love from too faced it adds a bit of thickness and then i use my most favorite mascara of all time Roller lash from Benefit to comb through my lashes so that there are no clumps. Remember how I said getting that eyeliner right is a pain. So to give the illusion ki apne eyeliner actually dala hai, I use my Kajal pencil from Gosh. Uh, Gosh products are very easy. You'll find them in any pharmacy. And I put this under my upper waterline. See, looks so much fuller. My eyes look so much fuller. Now to hide a bit of these dark circles, my champion is the Radiant Creamy Concealer by Narcissist. The shade I use is Biscuit Medium Dark 1 and as you can see I have hardly any left so beating the product out really helps at this stage. <laughs> I put on this concealer in a triangle shape and taking it right up to the upper corner of my eyes because that will kind of neaten any shadow that has fallen over. Using the beauty blender I gently dab that. You know I find using my fingers to apply my concealer to blend my concealer kind of wipes the product away and whatever product is remaining on the beauty blender i highlight my nose cupid's bow corners of the mouth chin and forehead just a bit now while the concealer is setting i moisturize my lips with any regular lip balm then to make sure that my concealer is locked in i use this translucent powder from makeup forever to set it in place almost ready a bit of contouring but nothing too complicated right so i use the hula bronzer from benefit it has this really nice handy brush with it as well apply that right under the cheekbones if you want along your jawline and forehead nose if you need it blend that out then some color for the cheeks i use the l'oreal blush palette it has some amazing colors from light to even orange i take a little of both the darker pinks okay warning now strange face coming up don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> blend that in and i love this palette because the blush actually has a little bit of shimmer to it so you can skip the highlighting as well now the final step lip color i love combining two colors okay and my favorite go to is a pink in nars and huda beauty's trophy wife liquid matte lip color going with the pink now maybe the office that you work in this pink is too bright or just you don't like it so we tone it down by using a slightly more nude shade and there you go put on some accessories settle the hair and you're ready see the face doesn't look unusually made up it's light it's natural and your makeup is done in under 10 minutes and if i say so myself you look magnificent